And I'll tell you, I don't think they would come in last in the uh, Suburban League here if they were a team. Yeah, the I one think they would have a good shot at third place. Yeah, the problem they might have with a team like North Penn, I think, would be the size. Um, Lever and them rebound very well, but they're, we're really not a very big team coming off the bench, with the exception of Mayers. Lee on the dribble, Johnson picking him up right over half court, over to Higher. Higher holding the ball. Now this is this is very interesting. 29 points down. Maybe they're trying to keep Norris down from reaching 100. Yeah, I don't understand That's probably the strategy. The, well, that may be the strategy. They know there goes an attempted steal. Higher controlled. Ball to Spencer going out of bounds, and he is out of bounds. I think North Penn has decided they don't want 100 points against yeah, them tonight. Yeah, I think they're going to freeze the ball, it looks like. A little cat and mouse game coming up here with four minutes and 40 seconds left. Johnson over to Flowers. Flowers looks to Ramsey. Ramsey fakes the jump, looks in, nice pass to Thompson. Thompson has the layup. And here comes five more Eagles players ready to come in. And these five are perfectly capable of getting the score up to 100. They have done it. Well, Jim, they aren't tired yet. Those North Penn ball players out there are pretty tired, and they're about to face five fresh bodies. Lee misses Flowers with a strong rebound, looks for Ramsey. Ramsey picks up the ball on the drive with a move around, and that's one of the first close-in shots Ramsey oh, misses. You, Gets the he rebound. Work for, he worked for that basket all by himself and did a beautiful job. Priest Ramsey, 23 points now, eight rebounds. What a game for Ramsey tonight. There's Johnson on the steal. Johnson tries to find Thompson and doesn't quite get the pass long enough. Lee on the breakdown court, driving for the layup. Johnson with a steal. Lee gets it, almost scores. Johnson on the move, finds Evans, and it's four on one. Evans to Flowers. Flowers with a short jumper up, good. Norristown, 92, North Penn, 57. Three minutes and 26 seconds left. Lee with a drive, short jumper up, good, and I believe he just moved into 20 points. 22 points for Brian Lee. Well, I'll tell you, Lee doesn't seem to know the score of the game. He's playing out there like this game is really close. He's quite a ball player. All the Norristown starters coming out. Frank, I thought the Tennant game was one of our best games. But I think without a doubt now, I'm going to come back. Norristown, each night out now, they're beginning to impress me more and more. What you've got to hope is your crystal, is this team is peaking. This team is on a high. And the big question, as I said earlier, nine games to go, one of those down. Can you maintain this as you go into the district competition? Well, Jim, and in high school ball, you know, you can have a, be the best team, but have an off night, and you're out of it. North Penn beginning to pick up down court, and North Penn is also substituted. Uh, number 11, John Lorenz, a 5'10 guard, is in. Norristown now has Jones, Craig Jones, number 35, Steve Bullrath, number 14, Richard Mears, number 23, Kurt Lever, and Louis Simmons. There is a nice pass into Dan Broadway, he hits the layup, making it 92 61. Simmons moving the ball up court, looks for a pick from Lever. Comes outside of Lever. Attempted steal. Lever on the drive around. Hits the right-handed layup. 94-61. Two minutes and 44 seconds left. There's a pass to Lorenz. Volrath covering him. He's hemmed in. Finds Broadway. Broadway looks to Cobb. Cobb from up high with a long shot. Around the rim, no good. And they've got a pushing foul on number 25, Larry Nelson, underneath. I'm not sure whether Norristown is in the one-on-one -on -one situation yet. Yes, they are. Well, you know, Jim, I think the officials have done a good job tonight. They've let the kids play. They've allowed a little bit of bumping, not calling every touch and so on. And this can make a difference in the ball game. Nice touch there, Frank. Higher and Spencer on the bench for North Penn. And Louis Simmons goes over there and gives them a handshake, saying, in essence, Nice game, guys. You gave it your all tonight. I like to see that. Well, you know, you just can't say enough about what a friendly group of, of kids this Norristown team is. They are generally, genuinely a group of really nice guys. 
Mayer's making two for Norristown, stretching their margin to 96-61, 35-point victory. And, re and remember, the margin of victory for Norristown is 30 points. There was a foul on Lever, and it's, excuse me, foul on Simmons, who thought he was up high and had the block, but Lee's going to the foul line, will be shooting two. Richard Mayers now has six points for Norristown. Lee up, shot is good. And those statistics last week for, for Lee are, you know, proven true tonight. Lee's up to 23 points now. He's had to earn those points. Simmons and Johnson and Flowers have taken turns they playing him tough. Have. He's, he's one heck of a ball player. Bullrath on the dribble. That was his mom that we had on TV at halftime, and she certainly would like to see him get off one of his patented three-pointers. You know, Jim, it took Norristown a little longer this week, but they eventually did tire out that North Penn team. There goes Bullrath on a driver. Jump shot strong over the board. Rebounds by Nelson. Finds Broadway. Looks for Lee. And Lee is staying in with a dribble. Simmons playing him again up high. There goes a light off to Nelson with a left-hand jumper around and out. Mayers high on the board, coming with a break to Simmons. Simmons moves, looks for Mayers, tries to tip it up. And, you know, Lee made that play by just holding his position. There goes the ball to Simmons. Simmons with a jumper, no good, and he's hit. Frank, that last play was a very heady play on the part of Brian Lee. Uh, Norristown was going for the lob pass, and I actually think the position was there, but Lee, by not moving, forced that Norristown player to alter his shot, and the lob pass didn't work. That's a smart ball player. Oh, he is. He is, he is going to be a good ball player at the college level. I don't know what his plans are, but he is certainly a quality ball player. Simmons with a shot, and here comes number 20, Steve Watson, and Jeff Thomas is waiting to come in and he will be replacing Simmons. Mayers goes out, and I think Simmons is going to be going out. I think this is a move on Cresswell's part to try and not hit 100. No, I, I think he wants 100. You think so? I sure do. It's 98 to 63, one minute and 35 seconds left. All right, Norristown, three times at 100 this year already. And I'll tell you, for a high school team to do that three or four times in a year is something pretty spectacular. Yeah, you have to remember, that's only 32 minutes of basketball. And here comes Norris down with one minute and 10 seconds left. Ball wrath to Jones. Jones with a jumper. He's got it. Oh, and man. there is the century mark one more time. And the Norris down fans respond. They love it. Lee on the dribble. Looks for the shot, well, and there's going to be backcourt. And you know, Lorenz Jim, touches the ball. Did you think we would hit 100 when we were losing at the end of the first yeah, quarter? But that's, we have a team that's like that, Frank. They just, they explode. They literally explode. But I, I, I thought we would win, but I never thought we would hit 100 when we were losing at the end of the first quarter. Thomas on the drive with the ball blocked out of bounds. It's going to be Eagles' ball. And North Penn has come in with some subs, too. Now, number 41, Tom Williams, is in there with Nelson and Broadway and Lorenz. And the other player is number five, Lee Taylor, a 5'10", 11th grader. Because Lever with the move to the basket, he's going to get a chance to shoot two with 41 seconds left. And North Penn, when people see this score in the paper, they're going to say just, ah, oh, another Norristown blowout. They're not going to understand what a difficult time Norristown had for much of the first half. Well, they did. It, it, it took them an extra quarter to tie, tire out North Penn. One quarter longer than it has taken them against other teams. Lever with one out of two, pushing the Norristown lead to 101 to 63. Here comes Taylor with the ball over to Lorenz. Lorenz with a spin move down the center, looks for Broadway, and on his move, he's fouled on the outside. Norristown foul will send Lorenz to the line, shooting one and one. 
you know, Jim, in the playoffs, Norristown is bound to run into teams that can handle a press well and will not tire out. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I don't think that should happen in the first couple of games. Uh, I just hope Norristown no, can keep the momentum they have now. Along the way, you run into teams. The one that comes to my mind is Glenn Mills. Yeah, Glenn Mills is reported to be uh, there are some people who think that they are better than the Eagles, and they're supposed to have a very ferocious press. But that's a long way off, Frank, and, and we have much more immediate tasks at hand. Long shot by Lorenz is no good. Ball over to Taylor. His shot is strong, no good. And there's number 41, Williams, off the board. Jones tries to heave it up court right over into the scoring table. There are two seconds left. It's 103 to 65, Norristown. And Kurt Lever's going to inbound. And you better believe Norristown is going to try to get a shot off in this last time. Now there's Ballrath open. Lever finds him. Ballrath with a three pointer. No good. And it's the Eagles, 103, North Penn, 65. A very good victory for the Eagles. And Jim, North Penn played Norristown probably as well as you can play them. They played a pretty good zone. They hustled. Initially, they didn't have that much trouble bringing the ball up, but eventually Norristown wore them down, which is Norristown's trademark. They wear the other team down. And Frank, there's another presentation going on here. Uh, in front of us. I don't know whether our cameras can catch it or not. Yes, can you? But the can Norris, our cameras get over there in the crowd? The Norristown uh, cheerleaders are presenting a cake to Jeff Thompson in honor of his 1,000 points. A very, very nice touch. And something that, else here, we see Evans and Lee talking. The players are sticking around to chat with one another. I really do like to see that. That's a pretty big cake, too. Maybe we can get ourselves a piece, Jim. With uh, Jeff Thompson, who uh, got an award for scoring 1,000 points tonight. And here's the award being held by his brother, a future basketball star for Norristown High School. Is that right? Yeah. And Jeff. I've been at Norristown for 25 years, and I don't know if you realize it, but 1,000 points in high school basketball is quite an achievement. How do you feel about it? I feel very good about it. And all, all the fellas are thank, thankful for giving me the ball every time they need it. Well, yeah, I just can't say enough about what a consistent ball player you are. I can't remember you having a bad game. And uh, you seem, when the team is starts to get down, you seem to be the one to pick them up. And uh, we got... Oh, we got some fans here. What's this, Duke? Do, do, you, have, do you have plans for next year yet, uh, Jeff? Or are you still... Uh, yes, I'm um, talking to a couple of colleges right now. I'm filling an application right for the university and um, Towson State, Drexel, a couple more. Well, I, I'll tell you, you're going to be an asset wherever you go. Right, and uh, you. Jeff Thompson, 1,000 points. And I think I only remember in tw the last 25 years, three other players getting 1,000 points here. And in a moment, we'll have uh, Glenn Martin to wrap this up. Thanks for coming with us, uh, right, Jeff, you. and uh, your brother here, the future Norristown star. What grade you in? Fifth. Fifth grade? All right. Okay, here is Glenn Martin to give us the uh, statistics to wrap up the game. Thanks, Mr. Winkle. Final score? Norristown 103, North Penn 65. For North Penn, Brian Lee, their leading scorer, 24 points, 8 for 8 from the free throw line, 2 for 3 from three-point land, and 4 steals. Chad Shaw with 12 points, Joe Heyer with 9, Justin Cobb with 10, and 4, and four rebounds. Free throw shooting, 16 for 18. North Penn known as an excellent free throw shooter. Rebounds 14 for North Penn, 39 for Norristown. Leading scoring for Norristown. Priest Ramsey with an excellent game inside, 23 points and 8 rebounds. Mike Evans with 13 points and 4 rebounds to go along with 2 steals. 
Dana Binky Johnson with 18 points and three steals and five rebounds. Howard Flowers with 13 points and four steals and four rebounds. Also scoring, Jeff Thompson with 16 points, seven rebounds. Rich Mayers with six points and eight rebounds off the bench. Running down the rest of the list, Thomas with four, Lever with three, Jones with two, Simmons with five. Borath and Watson played some excellent basketball at the end of the game. Free throw shooting for Norristown, 10 for 14. Your final score, 103 to 65. The fourth time this year, Norristown's reached the 100-point plateau. This is Glenn Martin thanking Mr. Winkle and Mr. Nelson and encouraging you to stay tuned for more basketball on this cable station.